All right, today I would like to introduce you to GISCloud.com, which is a web mapping website. Uh, it's really uh, handy and very interesting tool uh, that you can use for publishing your, your maps and sharing them uh, and also uh, put them on your, on your website if you want. And uh, GIS Cloud has have just released uh, an, a free extension. Uh, for uh, ArcGIS uh, 9 and, and 10, so it's compatible with both. And uh, that free extension uh, gives you the uh, ability to publish your, your map uh, from ArcMap to GIS Cloud uh, only with, a, with a one click. It automatically uploads uh, the data, the symbology, layer structure, and spatial references. The idea is that what you see on your desktop, GIS, is instantly replicated on your GIS Cloud account. Once your maps and data are on GIS Cloud, they are easily published to the public or embedded into your website or blog without a need for having uh, your own servers. Uh, what you can do on GIS Cloud is uh, creating uh, maps and layers and afterwards uh, update them. You can choose which layers to export, your, your upload is secure through an SSL connection. All your vector data can be uploaded regardless of the data source. The labels uh, end up with a generic look only in GIS Cloud for now. And uh, you've got a lot of other things like uh, options on font layer, symbology, uh, etc. So it's uh, it's really uh, interesting and really uh, uh, strong as a uh, really powerful as a as a website. So the first thing you need to do is to create uh, an account on GS Cloud. It's really uh, fast and easy. Uh, you don't have to pay for if you're not using it for commercial purposes. Otherwise, you have to pay. Uh, it's fifty-five uh, US dollar. A month, uh, and the map viewer is only 15 uh, US dollar a month. Uh, but again, if you're not using it for uh, commercial use, you can uh, use it for free. So uh, once you have open uh, created your account on gscloud.com and uh, downloaded the extension. Uh, the map publisher extension for uh, ArcGIS. Uh, you can just click on the link below this video to download uh, the, that extension. Once you have uh, installed the extension, then you can open your ArcMap window. This is a map of uh, Mexico we'll be dealing with today for uh, our video tutorial. So once the extension is installed, just click on Customize Toolbars and click on GIS Cloud Publisher. So you will see the toolbar coming up on your uh, ArcMap window. So now the map is ready to be published. Just click on this icon there. And uh, you can uh, select the option you want to upload. So we don't have symbols. We're just going to going to, to upload data. Uh, the map uh, will be visible to me only and these are the layers I'm going to uh, to upload. So I'm logged in, otherwise if I was not logged in I could have logged in from, uh, from here. And uh, now just need to click on publish. So once it is done, just click on this link there, and you will be redirected to this uh, GS Cloud window. Uh, so from here, there are many things you can do, uh, but we will not uh, see the functionality, the capabilities of uh, this website. I will probably uh, make another video on this, a video tutorial on how to use GISCloud.com. Uh, today we just want to see how we share and publish uh, this map. Uh, so uh, you've got many options. Uh, the embed is a nice one, uh, but uh, obviously you have to make it public before being able to embed it onto your website. 
so just click on the general tab publish to public then click on embed get the embed code and there you go this is the map uh, that you have embedded uh, onto your website uh, here is the map the layers so that's quite handy and doesn't require a lot of time to uh, to do this uh, I hope that uh, you like this uh, uh, so if you've got any questions or if you face any problem uh, during uh, the process of publishing your map via gscloud.com uh, don't hesitate to drop me an email and I'll be happy to uh, come back to you. Thank you, bye bye.